we always try to strive for the lowest fees. There's a lot more products coming out. We're doing an airdrop for Bitum users and the airdrop code is going to be Yes, I'm Ran, uh, co-founder of Wu. The project's Wu. There's two products. One is WuX and one is WuFi. Both are trading platforms. WuX is a centralized exchange uh, offshore, so no KRW pairs. I'm servicing mostly advanced traders, so professionals who really enjoy deep liquidity, low fees, perpetuals, who are trading in and out, uh, you know, day traders and such. So there's a lot of whales on WuX. WuFi is more for the DeFi community. There's spot swap. There is a earn product where you can get yields. There's a staking portion where you can stake Wu tokens. The token is listed on Bitum. There's also an order book component that's getting upgraded this month actually, and it's going to be a multi-chain order book. So WuFi is trying to be like a decentralized, multi-functional exchange. So that's WuFi, and there's about 400k MAU on it. It's actually one of the larger DeFi apps around by DAP Radar. We're working on a project called Orderly Network, which is incubated by Wu. This is an extension of trading infrastructure, order book infrastructure, but it's fully on-chain. Everything is on-chain. So just imagine a cloud exchange on-chain that powers a lot of other DEXs. So there's many different items on the roadmap from UX products, new features such as Earn, Launchpad, and WuFi. There will be an upgrade to V3, currently it's on V2, where you can swap any asset from any chain to another asset at the lowest cost, highest liquidity possible. And there will be an upgrade in the order book as well to resemble centralized exchanges. And it'll also be from any chain trading perpetuals. The experience will be very smooth, similar to centralized exchanges, which is a big improvement on what DEXs are today, which is difficult UX. I have many assets and all kinds of incentives to trade. So we really, really look forward to that as well. I think one of the biggest things about Wu is we're trusted. Our branding is trusted by our community and our users in CeFi and DeFi. There's like a transparency dashboard on the CeFi side. We're able to see where the account balances are, where, where they are custody it refreshes every 15 minutes. So people really like that. We always try to strive for the lowest fees. That's kind of one of our selling propositions, lowest fees for users. On the DeFi side as well, you know, trading on WuFi swap it only costs two and a half basis points versus something like a unit swap, which is 10x as much. We're always trying to benefit the users and to provide more value capture to the token so that at the end of the day all the revenues and the utilities by all the products that we have goes towards the token as well so it benefits token holders. We have a pretty unique angle in the C DeFi play in that we have a CeFi and DeFi product and I think in the future it actually will be merged in some way. We believe that the best of both worlds is what's going to happen in the future. The best parts of CeFi are that there's fiat on ramps, there's KYC, there's really good UI UX, there's different ways to onboard and log in. Whereas DeFi has interoperability, combined aggregated yields, aggregated liquidity, there's gamification. So a combination of the two is actually really needed today, whereas it's separated now, but we think in the future, it'll be the trend where more and more trading platforms become kind of CDFi, and that's where we stand out. So there's a lot more products coming out and that will benefit the token. It's been a great relationship we've had with Bitum and we hope to grow the Korean community actively. So we have a team in Korea now to grow and service our community here. And we hope that the community benefits from our product and the token. We're here to service the token holders. Yeah, we're doing an airdrop uh, uh, for Bitum users and the airdrop code is going to be Wu-2.